Good morning. Get you settled, right? There. Get ready with me. I am trying really hard to be a morning person. I'm just not. Like, I am an absolute night owl. I like staying up till midnight and waking up at like 10 or 11. I actually think it's really funny that I'm not a morning person, but my favorite thing to say to people is good morning. Like, I love telling people good morning. It's like an act of charity for me to be like, good morning. How are you this morning? I actively get sad when the clock hits noon because I have to switch to saying good afternoon, which just doesn't, it just doesn't do the same thing as good morning. I have a phone screening for a job interview today. And even though it's just over the phone, I still like to put on makeup so that I feel kind of professional. Even though they won't see me, like I see me and I just feel more prepared um, when I have my face done. I'm also a stay-at-home wife currently. Thanks be to God, I love staying at home. But I recently saw another stay-at-home, well, she's a stay-at-home mom, but she was talking about how she treats being a stay-at-home mom like a job. Right, like she has a few hours in the morning to herself and that's where she gets ready for the day. But like she'll put on real clothes and makeup and treat it like she would a career, which I thought was just really sweet and motivating. So I've been trying to do the same thing. Even if I don't have like an interview or anything at home, I'll try to do my makeup in the morning and put on kind of real people clothes just to give respect to the work that I do around the house. I'm actually really excited for my little phone screening interview thingy today because applying for jobs has been atrocious as I'm sure many of you can attest to. I've applied for like 30 jobs in the past two months. I've gotten one full interview, one phone screening, which is today. And then my one of my applications has been referred to the hiring manager and then I've gotten like a handful of declined applications, but I would say at least half of the applications I've put in, I haven't heard anything about. So I have been wanting to turn into a semi morning girly at the minimum for like forever and all of the advice that I see on becoming a morning person is really just about like building habits and self-discipline. And also being a morning person starts the night before. So you can't just like expect to get up on time in the morning. Like you actually have to go to bed on time, which makes total sense. I just hate going to bed on time. <laughs> I think one of the biggest reasons that I really struggled to be a morning person and to stick to my habits and stay in a routine is I've just been really burnt out. Like the college experience that I have had, rough. But this is my last semester of college and all of my classes are fairly easy and fun. Like I find all of them interesting and all the assignments are stuff that I just really, really enjoy doing. So I'm feeling pretty refreshed and motivated to get up in the morning especially now that I'm making YouTube videos again like I love making content y'all this foundation always makes my skin look so good I am in fact an Ilya girly I know a lot of people don't like the smell I don't really mind it I just I love this stuff I don't have like the full Ilya set I do have some stuff from House of Color because my mother-in-law got me a color analysis appointment as a bridal shower gift. So I, I really do like my House of Color makeup as well, but once I run out of it, I'm definitely gonna try to find some more Ilya products to replace them with. As much as I like the dewy look, I don't like looking super, super dewy. Like on camera, it looks really great, but in person it can look a little bit oily. So I do a little bit of powder, just kind of like on my cheeks. I like the dewy look kind of up here, but just not down here. Aside from actually going to bed on time, <laughs> I found that um, I really like to move my body first thing in the morning, and I do not mean work out. Mm -mm -mm. We're not there yet. I mean that I like to do a couple of easy, monotonous, no thought, 
chores. Like I will kind of get up and get my laptop set up for the day and then I will unload the dishwasher because everything has a home. I don't really need to think about it. And then once I do that, I'll like come and make the bed while simultaneously washing my face and taking my medicine for the morning. I find that that little bit of movement just helps me gain consciousness for the con consciousness for the day. I've noticed that when I actually like get up on time in the morning, I'm significantly hungrier. Like I'll eat two breakfasts, not back to back, but like eight, nine o'clock, I'll have a smaller breakfast. And then at like closer to lunch, like 11, I'll want another breakfast, which I guess technically could be lunchtime, but I kind of like having four meals a day. I eat smaller meals. I'll have my little eggos first thing in the morning and then I'll actually make like eggs and bacon and stuff later in the morning. And it's really easy since I'm like working from home to do that. I also made a cutie little habit tracker that I'm really excited about. I made it so that I can start um, actually getting into like a routine and a habit of going to bed on time, waking up on time, and like eating around the same times every day. I have no idea how effective it's going to be, <laughs> but I think for me it'll be pretty effective, especially since I'll get to color in the little dots every day if I like do all my habits for the day. So <laughs> if you want it, I have it linked in the description box. It's totally free. Just download it. You get to pick your colors that you use. I made like this little three color system. One color for when you uh, meet your habits for the day. One color for if you didn't meet your habits, but like for a reasonable reason, like something came up that you didn't expect or yada, yada, yada. And then your last color for the day is that you didn't meet your habits because of your own fault. Time to set these baddies. I recently ran out of my brow gel and I had used the Ilya like tinted brow gel, but they discontinued that. This is a clear gel now that they have and then the um like the pencil as well. And I actually really really like this combo a lot better than the other product. I'm just a little bit sad that I have to buy two different products now. I also have a really bad habit of picking at my eyebrows, mostly out of anxiety. So it's really nice to have a product that can actually kind of like go in there and um, patch some stuff up for me whenever I'm having kind of a, a bad week or a bad month. No, this video isn't sponsored and no, I'm not an affiliate, but I'm just gonna keep raving about Ilya for a second. Y'all, this mascara is the best mascara i have ever put on my eyelashes like i love it i love a more natural makeup look and this just gives so much length and depth to my lashes that i've never had before like i have been putting on mascara since i was like 12. i'm 20 it's been a decade nothing has compared to this okay okay try it one big reason that i also really want to be able to get up earlier is i really want to start like having a holy hour in the morning before i start my day a half hour to hour of just prayer and like sitting with the lord and his word for the day because i found that i'm just so much more grounded whenever i get time to pray in the morning rather than like throughout the day or in the evening it just really like sets the tone for my day and it just reminds me that like i'm not doing everything throughout the day alone like i'm doing it with the lord and like he's my helpmate so you know if things go wrong during the day or you know just like a little annoying things of life it's just a nice little reminder that like well that was silly but like you know the lord's gonna help a girl out so it's fine okay so this is today's fit with a little yoga pants and slippers. Yeah, comfy, cozy, but also half work. If you're trying to be a morning person to download that habit tracker, let me know if it works for you or if it doesn't. I have no idea. It's just cute and I get to color, so 
why not color with me? Um, thanks for getting ready with me. Yeah, until next time, I'm praying for you.